So Bezat Hashem from heaven, they're calling us to complete our mission and to do big things in this world. But before we are jumping into those high scales and high levels of spirituality, we must stabilize our own foundations and to go back to the root, to the purpose of our creation. We are godly souls. We are amazing godly portions of the Maker Himself that He sent from His inside beams of light. Those are our souls and trapped them into physicality, into holy chariots that are as chains going from one level to the next, lower and lower and lower and lower and lower, endless amounts of levels to the earthen and physical, constricted and super limited, blocked and sealed, dark and thick and heavy world of making, of physicality, world of actions. And here we are trapped into forms, into shapes, into bodies, even divided into different organs, into different vehicles, separated in an illusion of physicality and time, one from the other, even though we are beams of light that are coming from the same source as beams of light from the sun, we are also beams of light from Hashem, the maker of the universe, but we are trapped inside different departments, inside different rooms, inside different bodies. And each and every one of us fell into a world of forgetfulness, a world of illusions. And every one of us imagine that he himself is an individual while it is only our prison. The individuality of the person is his prison cell. This dividing is his exile, that he has been exiled from unity, from infinity, from oneness to world of separation, world of dividing, world, world of arguments, fights, disagreements, wars, and all kinds of loneliness and darkness and despair. So. When we open our eyes and we look outside to the external world that is surrounding us, we're falling into that trap of the evil inclination, the trap of physicality that is surrounding us. But when we are closing our eyes and we look deep into the root of our soul over there, we can find that inner link, that inner chain that is connecting us to infinity, to oneness back again. Now, in this lifetime, when you look to the outside, you can see the infinity. You can see that there is no number that you can come up with, that you can count the, the, the grinds of sand in the sea, the stones in the desert. You cannot count the particles of air that are flying with the wind. You cannot count the number of drops of water in the ocean. There is no way in the world to count the number of leaves in all the trees and plants in the world. So you see that it's an endless amount of livings, of animals, of ants, of birds, of flies. You cannot count them. But you can realize that they are endless, that the amount is endless. This is this world. You cannot count infinity but you can recognize it because you are limited into time and into limitation of place so you cannot be above the place to contain it all at once or above time to have enough endless time to count them all and to weight them and to understand their amount and their capacity because you are limited under the same limitation of time and place but in the world of truth behind the curtains of lie behind the filters of darkness are no limitations anymore and over there there is complete freedom there is infinity may it be blessed
and over there you can see the whole amount and you can count the whole number and you can understand that all those particles are only organs of one unit perfection of its greatness of our makers spirit and he himself the one and only he is the one that revealed his unconditional love and his kindness and his beauty and his wisdom to us through the curtains of creation for what for what reason for what purpose for us to be able to grasp his greatness when we were free in the upper world before time of creation we were not able to enjoy because consistent pleasure does not consist considered as pleasure at all if you have millions and millions of dollars you cannot enjoy them if you have complete health and you don't know what illness is or weakness what it is you cannot enjoy your health if you're always happy and you never been sad you cannot enjoy that happiness you can appreciate good stuff only when for a certain time of your life you were lack of that happiness of that source of happiness and now when you gained it back now you can be happy for having it but before of that you cannot feel no pleasure it's like that the color of white contains all the colors within it but you cannot see them like that the color of black contains all the colors within it but you cannot see them you cannot divide them because it's or too fast or too slow energy too slow speed or too fast for you to grasp it and understand it therefore Hashem had to make balance and to allow us to climb from one step to the next in certain pace under the limitation of time into the limitation of place for you to taste your house for you to feel your feelings for you to walk and march on earth to smell the flowers to taste the fruits to see the people to see the views to see the ocean to see the sunrise and the sunset once and once again again and again over and over and in each step that you are marching you are enjoying the most amazing feeling of connecting yourself to the maker of the world becoming one with him you become one with him by embracing the particles of his infinity one after the other you are completing yourself and building that bridge of connection with him by nullifying yourself to him one day at a time one step at a time we cannot eat the whole cake in one bite we might must slice it and eat it bite by bite or else you won't enjoy it at all it's only when you receive the pleasure in quantities in small quantities you can enjoy it and this is why Hashem told us that we need to bless on any kind of food we eat, on any beautiful sight we see, on any mitzvah that we are keeping. We need to bless Hashem to express our gratitude, to express our understanding that He is the maker of the world and He created the fruit of the tree and He created that wonderful drink and we are thanking Him. And by that we are connecting ourselves to Him. So please don't let the sadness and despair kick you out of the game. Just be positive and be happy that Hashem gave you the way and the wisdom, the right advice, how to come closer to Him each day at a time, keeping mitzvah at a time, and being happy and joyful and thankful, full of gratitude for it. And doing it with a happy heart and a wishing soul will bring you to the next. That the reward on one mitzvah will be to keep the next. And with that positive mindset, we can reach the completion and perfection of it all. To serve Hashem all our days. Like it's written on Avraham. Avraham zaken babayamim. Avraham, when he became old, he came with full days. Babayamim. He came with his days. Each day was a mission, 
and he was working through that day. He was working hard on that day. One day Sarah was nervous. One day Yitzchak was making troubles. One day he was going and searching for money. One day he was looking for the animals who ran away from his herd. One day he had to build his tent. One day he had to dig the well. One day he had guests and one day he had to sacrifice his son. Each day was a mission and he came with full days, with complete missions that he fulfilled, that he was following Hashem to wherever Hashem led him and he was fulfilling his mission and completing his job and came to Hashem old and happy and satisfied with full days. Fill your days with good things and Hashem will bless you in all. Amen. Can you hear that song?